हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर प्रभा अग्रवाल कंसल्टेंट गायनेकोलॉजिस्ट एंड लैप्रोस्कोपिक सर्जन एट केयर हॉस्पिटल्स हाईटेक सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पोस्ट मीनोपॉजल ब्लीडिंग सो एक्जैक्टली व्हाट इज पोस्ट मीनोपॉजल ब्लीडिंग वी नीड टू नो अबाउट मीनोपॉज फर्स्ट मीनोपॉज इज अ टाइम ऑफ ट्रांजिशन इन अ वुमेन्स लाइफ वेयर इन हर पीरियड्स विल बी गोइंग टू स्टॉप इन इंडिया द एज फॉर मीनोपॉज इज फोर्टी फाइव टू फिफ्टी ईयर्स बट इट कैन वेरी फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर so a time comes when nearly about a one year the periods won't come then we label the patient as going into menopause so once the patient is in menopause and after that at any moment of time if she notices bleeding little amount or a more in the amount she should definitely consult the doctors because it can be a simple skin problem the bleeding might come from the skin or it may come from the motion and sometimes the most common factor is a atrophic vaginitis where in according to age the skin skin and vaginal skin is dry and friable leading to some small bleeding and spotting happening and it can be because of any infections like uh, cervicitis endometritis where in the infection of the cervix and endometrium can happen then the patient can be on hormone replacement therapy for some other reason for breast cancer or any other treatment she has been taking due to hormonal replacement therapy some bleeding might happen then there can be small growths in the uterus some small fibroids some small polyp which may cause bleeding then there can be cancers in the uterus or the cervix so approximately 5% of the patient presenting to the gynec opd are suffering from postmenopausal bleeding which needs an evaluation and approximately 10% of the postmenopausal bleedings will have some sort of cancer which is a uterine cancer or a cervical cancer so any patient with such complaint should definitely consult a doctor wherein the doctor will advise them to go for a routine pap smear which is just to collect a vaginal discharge to check for any cancer cells there they might advise them to go for a endometrial biopsy wherein they will take a small sample of endometrium either by a dnc or by a hysteroscopy wherein we put a telescope and check and take a small sample for the thing and uh, regarding treatment wise it will start with some lubricating jelly and then some estrogen creams and then we can have some antibiotic coverage sometimes the hormonal replacement therapy might be needed a biopsy and depending on that we might need to do a dnc and she might need to go for a hysterectomy if it is turning out something bad in the biopsy so the underlying thing is if you are suffering from any bleeding after you attain menopause for a period of 1 year you should immediately consult your doctor and should not ignore it thank you